Hello friends, today we will see how to create time types in time management in success factors. So uh, when we are using time recording, time types can represent both attendance and leave. When we are working with time off only, time type corresponds to leaves only, that is absences. So these are the time types, sick leave, jury duty, vacation leave, leave of absence which I will be creating. You can create time types that is leave types according to your organizational requirement. So let's see how to create these time types. To create time types we go to manage time of structures. Create new time type. First, we'll create sick leave. I'm creating a uh, leave for USA country, so I'm giving the external name as sick leave USA. Under workflow configuration, I will select absence, request, so this is the uh, workflow which, ha which has already been created, I am selecting the workflow absence request, so that when an employee requ is requesting for a sick leave in the system, so the workflow will be triggered that is absence request we can check this workflow in manage org and a structure in manage organization pay and job structure I go to workflow absence request so this is the workflow which will be triggered so here you can see the name is absence request and in the step one the approver type is role and the approver role is manager so when this workflow is triggered it will be triggered to the manager of the employee so we go again to the time of structure sick leave after workflow unit is days that means the sick leave can be taken according to the days not the hours I am selecting days the country I have selected is United States classification is absence the other options are attendance on call break and extra so this is related to time off so I have selected absence again the unit is days so permitted fractions for unit day is I'm selecting half day booking, bookings allowed the other options are only full day bookings are allowed that means when a person is taking a sick leave he can only select a full day as a leave and the second option is half day bookings allowed and third option is quarter day bookings allowed so this is a sick leave so I will be selecting half day half day bookings permitted fractions for unit days half day so you can see duration display according to work schedule is already defaulted here now there are three options here work schedule calendar days and deduction quantity so here you can see in the when you click on the question mark you get to know what are what what are the meaning for these uh, three options the default value is work schedule 
so the work schedule was already selected here now what does this mean if I select calendar days now if an employee takes a leave on Friday as well as Monday so the leaves which will be considered that is the paid leaves which will be considered for this employee are Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So four days leave will be considered for this employee. In case of work schedule, if the employee is uh, absent on Friday and Monday, two days of leave will be considered. balance calculation setting consider bookings until calculation date so this was also defaulted posting priority post to time accounts by posting rules only now regarding this segment time account posting rules so we have to assign a time account type but we have not yet created a time account type for this leave type it is the time type so I am not selecting anything here under the take rules segment it is the business rules which will be assigning here I have not created any business rule as of now so I am not assigning any rule here the last field is external code sick leave USA this is the external code so you can see I have created a sick leave for USA the country is USA so this is country specific this is an absence not an at attendance type save this You can see the sick leave has been created with the entity UUID which is uh, generated automatically. Now after the sick leave, I will be creating jury duty, vacation leave and leave of absence. Now again we go to create new time type. I am creating a vacation leave here so vacation leave USA workflow configuration is the same absence request so workflow will be triggered to the manager in this case the unit I am considering is hours country is USA classification is absence which is already defaulted here so the unit is hours so the permitted fractions for unit R I will be selecting as full hour bookings allowed the duration uh, display according to work schedule and these two fields are defaulted as well now the last field is external core vacation USA and we will save this yes So we have created the another leave that is vacation. Now we will create jury duty and leave of absence. Time type. Jury duty. 
USA is the external name. Workflow configuration will be absence request. Unit is days. Country I'm selecting is USA. Classification is absence. Absence class is unspecified. Now this is days. Unit is days. So permitted fractions for unit day. So I'm selecting only half day bookings allowed. So duration display according to work schedule. And then the last field is external core jury USA. I'm saving this. Again I go to create new time type. The last leave is leave of absence USA. Workflow configuration is leave of absence. So I am selecting leave of absence as the workflow. So let's check. What is the workflow about leave of absence LOA? So here you can see this is the workflow leave of absence and this workflow will be triggered to the manager as well as this dynamic group HRBP approval. So whoever is in this group will get a work workflow for approval in this case the unit will be days country I am selecting USA classification is absence Absence class is unspecified. This is days, so permitted fractions for unit day. I am selecting only full day bookings allowed. So for leave of absence, half day bookings are not allowed or quarter day bookings are not allowed. As we go down, you can see work schedule is also defaulted here here you can see the leave there are two fields leave of absence event reason plan and leave of absence event reason return to work so in this case I am using this field as plan and I am select I will have to select leave of absence that means this event reason will be created so this event reason has been created through event reason deriv derivation also duration display according to I am selecting here calendar days so in case of an employee taking leave of absence as the time type so the duration display will be according to the calendar days also the leave of absence event is a return to work when the employee returns from work the event reason which will be triggered will be return from leave so this is the option I will select So down 
the external core LOA USA and save this record so you can see that we have created all these time types for the country USA so these time types are assigned to a time profile so in the next video we will see how to create a time profile thank you for watching